Pluto, once considered the ninth planet of our solar system, has captivated the imagination of scientists and astronomers for decades. Situated at the outermost reaches of our celestial neighborhood, Pluto is a tiny world that holds vast mysteries and surprises. American astronomer Percival Lowell first suggested that Pluto existed in 1905 when he observed strange deviations in the orbits of Neptune and Uranus. So in this video, we are going to talk about the Pluto, the dwarf planet at the edge of the solar system. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Lowell thought there must be another whose gravity is tugging on these ice giants, causing discrepancies in their orbits. Lowell proceeded to predict the mystery planet's location in 1915, but died 15 years before its discovery. Pluto was eventually discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh and the Lowell Observatory, based on predictions by Lowell and other astronomers. Pluto got its name from 11-year-old Venetia Burney of Oxford, England, who suggested to her grandfather that the New World get its name from the Roman god of the underworld. Her grandfather then passed the name on to Lowell Observatory. The name also honors Percival Lowell, whose initials are the first two letters of Pluto. However, in 2006, the International Astronomical Union redefined the criteria of planetary classification, leading to Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet. Despite this demotion, Pluto continues to intrigue scientists and spark curiosity among space enthusiasts. Pluto's location, situated on the outskirts of the solar system, makes it a unique and challenging celestial body to study. It orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 3.7 billion miles, 5.9 billion kilometers, taking approximately 248 Earth years to complete a single orbit. This vast distance and slow orbital period makes it difficult to observe and gather detailed information about Pluto. One of the defining features of Pluto is its size. With a diameter of roughly 1,473 miles, 2,376 kilometers, Pluto is about two-thirds the size of Earth's moon. Its small size contributes to its classification as a dwarf planet. However, despite its diminutive stature, Pluto boasts a diverse and intriguing landscape. The surface of Pluto is primarily composed of nitrogen ice, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. This icy terrain gives Pluto a distinctive appearance, with bright and dark regions scattered across its surface. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to our topic. One of the most prominent features is the heart, a large, bright region on the surface named Tombaugh Regio, in honor of its discoverer. This heart-shaped area, composed of frozen nitrogen, captivated the world when it was first captured by NASA's New Horizons spacecraft during its historic flyby in 2015. The New Horizons mission provided humanity with the first close-up images of data of Pluto, revolutionizing our understanding of this distant dwarf planet. In the center left of Tamba Regio is a very smooth region, unofficially known by the New Horizons team as Sputnik Planum. After Earth's first artificial satellite, Sputnik, this region of Pluto's surface lacks craters caused by meteorite impacts, suggesting that the area is on a geological timescale, very young, no more than 100 million years old. It's possible that this region is still being shaped and changed by geologic processes. These icy plains also display dark streaks that are a few miles long and aligned in the same direction. It's possible the lines are created by harsh winds blowing across the dwarf planet's surface. The spacecraft revealed stunning details, including mountains of water, ice, vast plains of frozen nitrogen, and even hints of possible cryovolcanoes, volcanic eruptions of icy materials. Pluto's complex geology and diverse surface features raise intriguing questions about its formation and evolution. Scientists believe that Pluto's composition may hold valuable clues about the early solar system and the processes that shaped our celestial neighborhood. The thin atmosphere surrounding Pluto is another area of fascination for scientists. 
Despite its tenuous nature, Pluto's atmosphere plays a vital role in shaping its surface. During its closest approach to the Sun, the dwarf planet's surface temperature rises sufficiently to cause the frozen nitrogen and other volatile compounds to sublimate forming a thin atmosphere. As Pluto moves farther from the Sun, the atmosphere condenses and freezes once again. Studying Pluto's atmosphere provides insights into the dynamics of volatile compounds in extremely cold environments. The interaction between the thin atmosphere and the surface reveals intriguing atmospheric haze layers and complex weather patterns in this distant world. The exploration of Pluto has not only deepened our understanding of this intriguing dwarf planet, but also broadened our knowledge of the outer reaches of our solar system. It has sparked new questions and paved the way for further exploration and research into the icy worlds of the Kuiper Belt. As we continue to probe the mysteries of Pluto, the search for answers expand beyond the boundaries of Pluto itself. The Kuiper Belt is a vast region extending beyond the orbit of Neptune, populated by countless icy bodies similar to Pluto. These objects, known as Kuiper Belt objects (KBOs), offer valuable insights into the formation and evolution of the outer solar system. By studying the composition, orbits, and characteristics of KBOs, scientists can piece together the puzzle of our solar system's early history. Pluto's unique position as a representative of the Kuiper Belt objects makes it a crucial target for exploration. The New Horizon mission provided a glimpse into the realm of the Kuiper Belt, capturing images and data of a small KBO named Arakoff during an extended mission phase. Arakoff, located 4 billion miles from Earth, revealed a pristine ancient world, untouched by major geological activity. Its dual lobes and lack of impact craters hint at a gentle collision that formed it billions of years ago, preserving a snapshot of the early solar system. By studying Pluto and other KBOs, scientists hope to unravel the mysteries of planetary formation, as well as gain insights into the migration of giant planets and the dynamics of small bodies in the outer solar system. These investigations not only enhance our knowledge of Pluto, but also provide a broader understanding of the diverse range of celestial bodies populating the Kuiper Belt beyond scientific exploration. Pluto holds a special place in our collective imagination. Its demotion from planetary status sparked debates and discussions among astronomers, educators, and the general public. However, Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet has not diminished its significance or intrigue. Instead, it has sparked a renewed interest in the exploration and study of small, icy worlds at the fringes of our solar system. Pluto serves as a reminder of the vastness and diversity of our cosmic neighborhood. It highlights the wonders and complexities that await us as we venture beyond the familiar realms of Earth and the inner planets. The exploration of Pluto pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and fuels our curiosity to understand the cosmos and our place within it. The three rules astronomers of the International Astronomical Union came up with to define a planet are the object must orbit the Sun, the object must be massive enough to be roughly spherical, and the object must have cleared its orbit of any objects of comparable mass to its own. That is, it must be gravitationally dominant in its orbit. Pluto satisfies the first two of these criteria, but not the third. Even one of its own moons, Charon, is about half of Pluto's size. So, rather than being the runt of the planet group, Pluto is now the king of the dwarf planet group. Pluto has five moons, Charon, Styx, Nyx, Kerberos, and Hydra with Charon being the closest to Pluto and Hydra the most distant. In 1978, astronomers discovered that Pluto had a very large moon, nearly half the dwarf planet's own size. This moon was dubbed Charon, after the mythological demon who ferried souls to the underworld in Greek mythology. Both Pluto and Charon orbit a point in space that lies between them, similar to the orbits of binary star systems. For this reason, scientists refer to Pluto and Charon as a double dwarf planet, double planet, or binary system. The discovery of Kerberos and Styx during the spacecraft's journey fueled the idea that most satellites could orbit the dwarf planet, unseen from Earth, 
collisions with unseen moons or even small bits of debris could have seriously damaged the spacecraft. But the New Horizons design team equipped the space probe with tools to protect it during its journey. In October 2021, New Horizons made history when it returned the first close-up images of Pluto and its moons. So, that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you liked this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we'll be back soon with another video.